So the main reason I originally did this oil flush was I put some castor oil in it as recommended by the Audi thing. Um, I don't know what your guys' experience with it was. Mine wasn't so great, so I switched from castor oil over to the Liquid Molly. Uh, the Liquid Molly by far has changed that. It helped with oil consumption a lot more over the castor oil, and it also helped with that uh, weird tapping noise that I had when I started it up. I actually haven't experienced that since I've done that oil flush, not even one time. All right, so to, for today's oil flush, we're just gonna run some uh, cheap O'Reilly's Full Synthetic, a cheap MicroGuard filter just for the flush. We're gonna be using Liquid Molly's engine flush with the cheap oil and the cheap filter. After that, we're gonna fill it up with some Liquid Molly 540 along with some Ceratec. We have a K&N filter that'll go in. And if the tapping doesn't stop after that, I have some hydraulic lifter additive that I'm going to try out. I haven't tried this stuff before, so excited to give it a go. Uh, main reason for doing this is the oil is kind of dirty, as you'll see here. This oil is dark, dark. And we're trying to get it to look clean. So on the right side, you have your microguard filter. On the left side, k and filter. See what it looks like once the oil runs through the microguard. Obviously, put the filter in. So application, it'll let you know how to do it right there. You're gonna let the uh, engine run on idle for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna drain and put high quality oil in it. Check it out. Now start car. Now let the car run for 10 to 15 minutes. That's the color of the flushed oil. No bueno. So the filter on the right is the new filter that we used. So we used to flush out the engine. We ran it for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna put the K&N filter in there now. All right, well everything is German on here and uh, I'm no scientist, but basically what I get out of this is that it's a micro ceramic solid lubricant suspension based on a hexagonal boron nitride. The laminar graphite similar structure reduces friction in the engine oil and inside the engine, so. Oh, shit. Dude, get your flexillas on. We had to like fight everybody at the O'Reilly's for a box of these fucking things. $20 for a box of gloves around these parts. That's how you put an oil filter on people. Like cinematic Slow-mo down for everybody so they can see what it's like. All right, so this is the oil that was flushed out of the system. Yes, it is just as dirty as the oil we just took out. Ooh. What's up guys, here we are, uh, over 5,000 miles from the last oil change. We're gonna see what this oil looks like when we take it out, we're gonna see how this flush did, we're gonna see anything different. To the best of my knowledge, I have only consumed about a half quart at most in oil, and that's traveling a lot. In the last uh, month or two, we've hit 5,000 miles easily. Just from the footage that you've seen earlier, this is... 5,000 miles from there. So originally it was just gonna be a few hundred miles and I was gonna show how the oil looked afterwards, but I ended up moving. I'm in a whole nother garage now and have some other projects going along the way here. It ended up just being another 5,000 miles before I could even get around to editing the rest of the video. So we're gonna jump into taking out the oil really quick, showing how it looks like, and we'll wrap this video up. So there was just like a little uh, paper towel test. It's still dark because obviously it has 5,000 miles on it, but this isn't actually as dirty as it was before. Um, I did pull the dipstick and notice that it is actually a little low, maybe like a quart low or so. So we'll see how much we take out of it and get that filled up.
I imagine that the oil being changed isn't gonna like change the color of it, but it did fix the tapping noise by changing my oil, so I'll get back to that. So after we did the flush, um, we put the liquid Molly in and we put the Ceratec ceramic coating in. That helped with oil consumption a lot more over the castrol and it also helped with that uh, weird tapping noise that I had when I started it up. I actually haven't experienced that since I've done that oil flush, not even one time. The car has not been driven today at all and zero tapping noise there too, very very smooth uh, even through the RPMs. So overall I'm very pleased with liquid Molly's products. We use the MOS2 anti-friction engine treatment. Uh, it's the first time using this as well too. I Obviously, you probably won't see a giant difference, but we threw it in there anyways. Um, I did buy this originally for the hydraulic lifter additive. I actually haven't used it yet because that tapping went away. So as long as that tapping's gone, I'm not gonna put this in there. I might actually save this for this next project over here because it has some tapping issues upon startup. We're getting some issues fixed on that. I just scooped that up for 800 bucks. Feel free to check out the video coming soon on this. It'll probably be posting like the next week or so. To everybody new to this channel or for anybody who's made it this far in the video, thank you so much. Like I truly appreciate uh, anybody who views this and takes your time out of your day to support me. So feel free to hit that like or subscribe button. Leave a comment, even if it's just a funny comment. If you have any questions, leave them in there. I'm happy to help. This is Coleman. As always, thank you.